Okay, very sweaty, apologise, don't worry about it, you're probably very sweaty by now as well. So, jump mountain climbs, very different to mountain climbs that we normally do because our legs come to the side. I use a ball to make it a little bit harder, so your knee is going to come to your elbow and then in one jump, now you think you use your legs on this but you don't, you actually use your core, your core does all the work, so that's why when I say pull in your core, get your back as flat as you can, that's what I want you to do, it's your lower abs, they're going to drive your legs to move, hip flexors, legs, lower abs, moving around, so what you're going to do is, you're going to pull it all in, one big breath, move it, that's what you're going to do, get your body in a nice straight line, as straight as possible, okay, and then you're going to do it again, staying as low as you can, so, using the Uga ball, you might only get halfway through, your, your wrist might start to hurt because it's a little bit soft, that's fine, until you get used to it, everything is a lot more difficult. You need to just get round it. Keep, keep trying, keep working through it, take it away, bring it back. Eventually you'll get used to the exercise. That's like everything. Anything you try that's new, anything you do that's different, you're going to find that there's going to be teething problems before you get used to it. But if you don't have a new ball, you're going to do it on the floor. Now, this might be impossible for you. This right now might be just the hardest thing ever. But so that's fine. Weird. Yeah, well... But that's fine, you're just going to bring your foot as close as you can, but wide, wide legs. Keeping your bum as low as possible, you're just going to switch it up, switch it up. Now, if that is way too hard for you, you can use a chair to make, your, to make it a little bit easier. You can do just, if you stand up, you can do it stood up. So you're going to bring your elbow to knee. So if you imagine we go on the floor, it's exactly the same move, it's just that you're not on the floor. So you have to go as fast as you can. So your hands are up. You're going to touch your elbow to knee. So that's your alternative. I know, genius, right? Floor, standing up, it's like mind-blowing. No, you're like, oh, yeah. Anyway, that's what you're going to do. So pick your option. Let me know which one you do. Let me know if you change that off something else because you had an injury or you needed to walk around it somehow because honestly, it will help people. People always need to know different alternatives, different variations. So make sure you put that on the website. Somebody's making some noise. Okay. Good okay, the next one was a deadlift with an upright row. Now, you need to get quite a decent weight with this, but not too much that you can't lift it. So what I want you to do first is find a weight that will, you can lift with your bum under, your abs are in, and you're going to lift it up to your chest, with your elbows out, and then take it back down. That's the weight that you're going to use, okay? So, I use my T-bar for this. You're going to bend forward, sticking the bum out first, knees are slightly bent, you're going to go down, flat back, head is in line with the spine. This is all abs and back. Then you're going to drive up, and then because you've got a weight that you can use, I'm just going to change my grip, so you're going to go down, come up, and then you're going to bring the weight up to your chest line, take it all the way down, and then do it again. Okay, now, alternatives. The less weight you use, the easier this is. So that's the alternative. You can take out either one of those. So if you just want to do an upright row, take it back down, that's fine. If you're finding that you've got elbow problems or you're finding that this move just doesn't suit you, you're just gonna do a deadlift. You can make the deadlift harder by lifting one leg, taking it down, trying not to wobble, <laughs> lifting one leg, taking it down, coming back up. If you're gonna do that move, make sure your trainers are really tight so you're not wobbling in your trainers because it makes it look like you can't balance when you can. And then come all the way back up like that. So that's what you're gonna do. So that's it. Pick your option, let me know which one you did. I've given you loads again, too many. I always get told off for giving you too many. Too so, many. Too many, <laughs> I can't help it. So pick which one, let me know, enjoy. Too many. Too many. Too many, oh well. How many? Too many. What? <laughs> too many. Stop giving them a million options, that's what I get, every tutorial. Stop it, it's just, I get carried away. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, next one, bicep curl and press. So again, start, knees hip distance apart, pull your abs in, bum under. You're gonna find a weight that you can lift without moving your elbows too much from side to side. You wanna keep them by your body. 
I'm going as hard as I can. So I use the two blues. You're gonna come all the way up with the T-bar. You might wanna wear gloves for this because my hands are slipping on this T-bar. So get your grip pads because you will definitely need them. I wish I had mine right now. And then you're gonna lift up above your head. Try not to swing the body, bring it all the way down and then go all the way down. Again, you can either do a bicep curl on its own or you can do the press on its own. The less weight, the easier that is. The, the easier that, the less weight you use, the easier it is. There we go. I'm sweating so much that it's dripping in my mouth and it's making it hard to talk. So that's it. So pick which one you wanna do. Make sure the abs are engaged. You really don't try to swing when you're lifting and that you make sure that when you take your arms above your head, you're not locking out the elbows, so support your joints all the time. Do as many as you can and go as heavy as you can, okay? Okay, so wood chops. We're gonna do both sides in one go, as opposed to doing left and then right. So, legs slightly wider than the hips, bum is under, you're gonna sink down, just like you would if you're doing a squat, just like you would if you're doing, um, picking up some weights, you're gonna get down, your head's high, back is flat, knees aren't going over the toes. You pick up your oogie ball and then touch one side of your knee. Now whichever knee you touch, you're gonna wood chop to the opposite side. Notice I turn my hip, my um, heel slightly to give me a straight body line and to protect my hips so I'm not twisting my body too much. So come up, then we're gonna go back to the center. Now I like to touch the ball on the floor because it makes me pick it up because sometimes when we get lazy, we don't realize and we only go to here. So if I know that my ball touches the floor, I know I have to go and pick it up. So it's kind of a way of me self-writing myself so I know I'm not gonna cheat. So feel free to do that. Just make it harder. I do that. Yeah, <laughs> you do that. <laughs> so ball on the floor, pick it up. Again, knee, making sure you've got good form. Look forward, get a mirror. or you go, wood chop to the side. Come back, centre again, get down, drop the ball. That's what you're gonna do. Now, you can take the weight out and you can just do it without the weight, that's fine. Or you can just do a wide squat and every now and then stay down and pulse. That's fine, you can do that, that's an alternative for you. We're trying to get some inner, outer thighs, but if you add the wood chop, you're also getting some abs involved, arms involved, so it's entirely up to you. If you've done a lot of arms, you might just wanna stay with the legs. Um, if you're just starting out with us, you might just wanna take a low, lower impact move just while you're just getting used to it. How much? <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> too many options. <laughs> Sorry, I am gonna try and just make it one option. But then they'll be like, oh, I wish there was another option. Anyway, that's it. That's it, that's all of them. You've just got to go hard and go for it. Just get, tell me what you did and tell me how you did it. And if you like a lot of options in the tutorial, tell me that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Support. <laughs> Support my randomness. Okay, that's it. Enjoy your workout, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.